Okay, students, welcome to part two yet another day in the foods room. Today we're going to be looking a little bit at developing some of our knife skills and what we do with knives in the kitchen to keep ourselves safe. We're gonna be making something kind of fun and different called cinnamon tortilla chips with a strawberry salsa. Maybe you've never had it before. Maybe you've never heard of it. But basically it's a salsa that instead of being made out of vegetables is being made out of fruit. And instead of deep fat fried tortilla chips with a little bit of salt added to them, we're going to be taking some whole grain tortilla chips, putting some cinnamon sugar on them and then baking them. A fun and delicious different type of combination. So for this demonstration, we're going to be doing it in a couple of steps. The first thing is, is that we're going to be taking and making some chips. The um, chips, uh, as you can see, have a number of ingredients with their own set of instructions, and then the salsa is separate. So right now, we're just gonna go ahead and focus in on the chips. I have previous to this gone ahead and read through my instructions. I have gathered my ingredients and washed my hands, and now I'm going ahead and putting on some, um, some gloves as I prepare these foods before I um, put them in the oven. All right, it says my step number one is to preheat the oven to 475 degrees. That is a really hot oven. And before you even do that, I want the trays or the racks inside the oven to be, you're gonna be using two cookie sheets and those racks need to be evenly spaced throughout. So one third, two thirds, then the bottom. I'm gonna show you that when I go to put them in the oven, what it actually looks like. And you should do that before you preheat your oven. Um, then I'm going to go ahead after I've read through the instructions, I've gathered my ingredients and my equipment, I'm going to go ahead and start. Step number one says that we're going to be taking and making some cinnamon sugar. If you already have some cinnamon sugar made at home and you are doing this on your own, that's fine. You can go ahead and use that. I'm going to use my one tablespoon measuring spoon and like measuring sugar. We've done this in demonstration in the past. We're gonna level that off with a straight edge, and this is, of course, the straight edge metal spatula, a wonderful way, or a wonderful piece of equipment to do that with. And here's my number two tablespoon. All right, I'll put this cinnamon, or this sugar to the side, and let's go ahead and measure the cinnamon. The cinnamon here at school, this is found in your kitchen um, with your flour and your sugar up in that same cupboard. And you'll notice on this that it has a little picture of how you're going to use a spoon to measure this out. And I'm gonna open that particular one. I'll grab my one teaspoon measuring spoon because that's the one I'm supposed to uh, uh, use. That's the amount that I needed. I'm gonna put it into my measuring or into my cinnamon can, and then we're gonna use the straight edge of this can to level it off. So I'm gonna have it overflowing. Can you see it overflowing? And then I'm gonna go ahead and level that right off. Put that in with my sugar, and then either using one of your measuring spoons, that would work just fine, or maybe a little spoon from your drawer, you're gonna go ahead and mix these two together. I don't wanna see any big strips or streaks of cinnamon in here. I want this to be all combined. We call that homogenous, when everything's kinda of evenly mixed throughout. And as long as I have a little bit of cinnamon streaking on the bottom, I'm calling it deep stirring, all right? Then we're gonna go ahead and place this to the side. Then it tells us that we're going to be taking five, count them five, flour tortillas. And we're using whole grain ones. Whole grain ones, of course, contain the whole grain, which means that they still contain what's called the bran. Have you heard of bran before? Um, bran is the part of the grain that has um, all of the, the fiber, well not all, but a great chunk of fiber. I'm going to take one of these at a time, so I'll put these other four to the side, and I'm gonna place this on my cutting board. And then I'm gonna use a pastry brush, and I'll put just a little bit of water in this bowl. That's water in that pitcher. I'm gonna take my pastry brush, kind of saturate it, take the dribbles off and I'm just gonna paint this wet. I don't want it soggy, I just want it a little bit wet. Then <clears throat> I'm going to sprinkle this with cinnamon sugar. And remember this cinnamon sugar has gotta last for all of it, so you gotta be a little careful. There's two ways, actually maybe three ways that you could do this. One way is what I just did right there, and then I'm gonna show you the other two ways in a half a second. 
I've got a pizza cutter, it's true, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this first in half. Then I'm gonna cut it in half again. Make sure you got a good eyeball when you, if you're the one that's in charge of cutting these. And then we're gonna go one more time. Then I'm gonna take these tortilla chips. At this point, can you see how they look like a tortilla chip? And I'm gonna place them on my cookie sheet. These have to be fairly close to each other in order to get all of them on there. So don't be thinking you can spread that out for half of forever. All right, let's do the same thing with the second one as far as getting it wet. Go ahead and just paint that. Again, not too much. And then this time, instead of using my spoon, I'm gonna take with my fingertips, and because I have my gloves on, I can do this. I'm gonna go ahead, and that's for here at school. If you're at home, you've got a different a uh, set of people you're you're working with. It's all your family, I guess you spare. Well, you know, you do share a little bit of germs. Go ahead and get that all covered. Again, with my um, pizza cutter. This is the funnest part, I think, and taking and cutting these into little um, triangles. Put them on this cookie sheet. You have to get two and a half tortillas worth of um, chips on each cookie sheet, all right? Um, the next way that I'm gonna do this, again, I'm gonna get it wet. I'm gonna take and rub that on there. And the next way that I might choose to do is if you have at home a um, shaker that has, maybe you even have this already, a shaker that has all the holes in the top, that makes it really easy. Let's just show you on this one. This might be a little bit lighter in color. All right, that was pretty easy. Which way do you think is the easiest for you to do? I, think I might use actually my fingers, so that would be against my nature to think so much. Go ahead and cut these all up. And again, I have to get half a one. I just have to get a total of one or two and a half tortillas on each one of my cookie sheets. I'll place this just to the side and then go ahead and finish putting the rest of these on here. You can come up with some sort of a pattern that will make it so it's a little bit easier. Go ahead and again, drench that one more time. Brush that on here. <clears throat> Let's go with my fingers. I kind of like that. That's uh, simple enough. Sprinkle that right on there. Yum, yum, yum. This is gonna be kind of like a, almost a dessert. I think it takes a little bit, um, I don't know, like a, in the big picture, I don't know, it's, a, it's yummy and delicious and great for if you're having a party at your house or you're going somewhere or if you just need a snack in the, in the afternoon when you come home from school. This doesn't take very much, does it? My last one right here and my pastry brush. And I'm gonna brush this on here. One last time. And could I shake it like this? I could even do that. Let's try a little bit of shaking. Might lose a little bit more control with it. That's why I'm a little hesitant to have you think this is great. I don't think it's as easy as doing it with my fingers. I might have a little bit more cinnamon sugar than you will for this last one simply because I used that shaker. All right, so I'm gonna leave that less than pretend like that was for that one that I quantity wise with my shaker. Now if you don't put enough cinnamon sugar on here, they simply won't taste as nice. Uh, you can see that's pretty good covering, can't ya? Pretty good covering. Is that good enough light that we're going to put those on there? And again, I got to get all these on and they have to be in a single layer. I can't have them overlapping at all or they won't crisp up. I know that's like a weird word for me to say, like Christmas, only not quite. All right, and before I go ahead and put these in the oven, which I'm gonna show you, um, I wanna talk about washing this right here. This is like a little person, the way that you wash these bristles, and maybe you can even see in there, I've got some cinnamon sugar. Um, the way that you wash this is you put it in your sink with your other dishes, and then I want you to take your 
dish soap and just give a little drop of dish soap in there. And like it's a little head of hair, massage it all in there, wash it really good underneath running water, and then you're good as far as washing. Oh, and then sanitize it if you're here with COVID. Um, sanitize that in the sink. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and go over to the oven right now. All right, I'm gonna have to pause and show you over there. Okay, just a sec.